Here we'll explain the electrical assumptions used in helioscope. An electrical design includes assumptions around the inverters used, the modules per string and wiring direction of the string, and the conductor sizes and sizes of the combiner boxes. Here we'll start with an existing design and toggle the assumptions one by one. First is the direction of the string. Note that the default is along the racking, which is what's shown on the map right now. We can change that to up and down, and we'll see that the modules are now connected in series going up and down in the direction of the racking. Next, we'll adjust the string size, going from 13 modules per string to 10 modules per string. Notice that with the shorter strings, we'll actually have more combiner boxes. The drop-down menu labeled Strings defines the conductors for the source circuits. Note that we have both copper and aluminum conductors. Next, we adjust the combiner box size from 12 strings to 24 strings each. Note that by doing that, the quantity will be cut in half because we have the same number of strings feeding combiner boxes that are twice as large. We can also adjust the conductor size for the combiner box home runs and also the conductor size for the trunk cable between the recombiner and the combiner box. Finally, I adjust the inverter, switching from essential to string inverter. Notice that I can change the quantity and the DC to AC ratio changes automatically. The string inverters are drawn on the map and note that of course we don't need any combiner boxes. Finally, note that we can move the inverters and combiners around, and as we do, the conductors are automatically rerouted between the strings, combiners, and the inverters. And that summarizes the electrical assumptions in Helioscope.